the ultimate question with the ultimate dads here. Ultimate dad PewDiePie joins me to ask Hell to answer yeah. the question: Would you kill for your child? Would you kill for your child, Felix? <laughs> I need I need more of a scenario <laughs> painted out for me. For <laughs> I'm not going to jail. <laughs> That seems bad. All right, we're watching the cut, and we, they asked a hundred moms how far would they go wait, to protect wait, your would child? Would you kill for your child? Absolutely, one hundred and ten percent. I dare someone to mess with my kids. You're dead. All right, you're dead. Yeah, but you see, you set it up differently. You said if someone messes with your kids, then you would kill them. Dead. They mess with them. You just said if I would kill for my child. I don't know. It kind of depends on what happens. You know. I can't believe you wouldn't kill for your child. What kind of fuck? I'm just kidding. All right, <laughs> let's just watch the video and get the context of the question. Would you kill for him? Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, Damn, he just that, gives okay. me a little smile and a giggle, and I'm like, I'll do anything. Do anything. Okay. Well, I mean, that's no context. That, that, was, one. Not, just, that was the yeah. answer here. <laughs> I, I, want, I wanted to, this to be an episode of Saw where they actually, like, you would think you would kill for a child? Go ahead. This man right here. If you press the button. Button. Bam, bam, bam. Well, button's easy. That's like minimal effort. What if you had to, like, I don't want to get you demonetized. You know what? <laughs> Would you kill for your kid? Would I kill for my kid? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's the one that's feeding the child as well. Like, this yeah. kid is too much, man. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Would you kill for your child to protect them? See, oh, that's oh yeah. different. Oh yeah. That's yeah, different. There you, there that's a different question. Yeah. That's a complete. Would you, would, would you kill to protect your child? Yeah, I would kill to protect uh, my son. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, yeah what do you my, mean? My, my kids, my wife, myself. Yes. You know, back in the state where I'm from, back in Mississippi, we got a law of stand your ground. You know, if you feel like bi like extreme bodily harm is going to happen to you, bam, yeah. shoot somebody. Stand you know? your mm. ground. If you come at us, Ooh. it's not going to be pretty. Mm -mm, Let's just say mm -mm. that. Yeah, I don't know. it's like you, you go through you go through life and you have those. You know, all, I'm going to speak for all men right now. We just sit around yes. and Im imagine situations, speak scenarios that, that will never happen ever. There could be like a bear that breaks into your doorway and you imagine fighting the bear, right? Yeah. You know, there's the... I'm ready. Yep. The, the late night, you know, you, you imagine like the back door, you left it unlocked and somebody creeps in and they go Those into the bear, baby's room. Those bears creep in. You know, they... they <laughs> Someone goes into the the kids' room, and then as the door op slowly closes behind them, you're behind the door with a baseball bat. Smack! Hell yeah! And you know, you get to that point to where you're like, I smacked them with the bat. They're down. Do you stop? Do you stop? <laughs> yeah, that's like the next question. Do you stop? I've seen enough horror movies to know that I shouldn't because they always <laughs> stop, right? Right, they, they, they always they, stop, they, man. The killer is on the ground, they got him, everyone's happy. I'm like, nah, you gotta hit him at least five more times. Because <laughs> I know as soon as you guys look away, poof, it's gone and you're back again. So no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five can. more times. Confirm I mean, it, kill always. And then depending on where you live at, what the laws are, like if you hit him and they have like, they brain damage and then they survive and then they sue you and then ruin your life anyway. It's crazy. So it's right? better to kill. It's bad. Better you know, it's, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. This is a weird, weird video. I did not expect. Sorry. I like how you, uh, you know, the thing you said about if a bear breaks in or if someone comes in the night, because I have that built in and Marcia thinks it's hilarious because like if I hear a sound and I just go, ah! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm a deep sleeper, but if I wake up from a noise like that, I'm up. I'm actually mm -hmm. like, what are you doing? I'm like, this is my <laughs> alert. This is, you should be like super impressed just how well I woke up there. You You've should, been training for this. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and the kids, the kids are so innocent. They're just little babies, you know, depending on how young they are. And it goes with like, you know, child predators, all those people. No. No, no, no. You no sympathy for me, period. Mm -hmm. You make the, the conscious decision to take advantage or harm a child that can't do anything. The lowest of the low. Absolutely. Yeah, you're trash. Absolutely trash. So, yeah, I'd kill for my kids. 100%. Well, based on that circumstance. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Otherwise, you just, mm -hmm. you just sound like a murderer, can't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mess around and find out. All right. <laughs>
watch it. Hell yeah. Absolutely. No. No. <laughs> what? What? What do you mean no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just gonna go out and randomly kill people. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not the question. It's not if you're gonna randomly kill people. No, but they didn't people. specify the otherwise either, Ken. Well, you're not gonna go out and just go out. You're saying like, <laughs> would you kill for your child and you <laughs> created the scenario in Dude, your head they, that it was justified. Can you imagine? There's a, another a movie, right? You have the psycho killer and they just hold a baby with them the whole time and go around murdering everyone and be like, I'm protecting the child. <laughs> How'd that make any sense? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> but what about we put it this way, like the trolley problem, right? That your baby on one track, uh, mm. let's say ten thousand people on the other track. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Would would you pull the lever to save your child? Absolutely. I probably, I probably would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, okay. Let's keep going then. All right. What all about right, a, mil right. a million? People? A million? Like, like these are just nameless, faceless people. We got like billions. They're they're fine. Whatever. My, my okay. child more important. The <laughs> life is worth more. Yes. What about a billion people? This is gonna be a long ass train. <laughs> Felix, <laughs> I, I, you could put everybody else in the world on that track. They're all getting run over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they better get off the track. What's they the population? Seven point nine billion people on a train track. They better hope that train derails halfway through it or something. All right, because they're done. <laughs> okay, what about if Mary's on the other side? Ah, uh, Mary would want me to run her over the train too. So yeah, Mary would eat it up as well. <laughs> Yeah, the, the apocalyptic, uh, ep <laughs> apocalyptic. It's just you and your baby <laughs> because you. <laughs> it's like the, <laughs> it's like the the, the the movie will be like the evolution of like a YouTuber like Mr. Beast. Like, I'll pay you like so much money to do this or that and that. And it just yeah. keeps getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> How many people will you kill on this train track? Make the choice now. And that's a that's a good idea. I always like asking people that, like to see where their limits are. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask me. I'm. <laughs> well, we got the answer. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I'll probably lose some sleep at night after that. You know, if it was a real decision, but uh, oh, uh, you, you know, probably, I'm probably, probably be a little sleepy for a while because I couldn't <laughs> sleep well. But I think I'll get over. Hey, get rid of everyone on the planet. Hey, it seems pretty good. Anyway, definitely. This is a weird yeah. video. Oh, wait, hang on. What is your answer? What would you do? Not if Martha was on the track, but otherwise, yeah. All right. I got you. That's love. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't murder my wife, Ken. Unlike you. you sorry. It wouldn't be murder, okay? It'd be yes, it necessary would, because he pulled the lever. No. <laughs> well, then the real question is, like, what if you were on the track and you had to choose between yourself and your child? Ooh. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd save the child. Yeah, I think oh. so, too. Yeah. It'd be very regrettable, but I'm an old man, so it's like, I you know, right, because you'd be dead. Freedom. Don't have to think about these questions anymore. Oh, my God. Would you kill for your child? No. No. I don't think I would kill for my children, but I do think I would be mouthy enough that somebody might uh, murder me standing up for my children. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... Oh, wow. <laughs> She's self-aware. She understands. Yeah, I would care in them so hard, they would kill me. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll also just have a very cynical view of the world anyway like they'll going back to like what i said about if someone makes the decision to kill me kind of thing uh, in the stories i expect most people would say the same would, thing would, for the, yeah, yeah for their own kids you'd, you'd be like oh they would understand me murdering them because you know they do <laughs> yeah, the they, same they, they get it right <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah everyone out there that's in the comments right now that agrees with me you're cool you're right yeah i really want <laughs> there to be a part two of this video where they put, okay well all right now we're gonna put it to the test <laughs> <laughs> right. I really Double don't. or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I went Karen. Full Karen. <laughs> well, no surprise no. there. <laughs> <laughs> the most unsurprising That's thing I've seen this video today. Hair, Karen hairstyle. What the f <laughs> yeah. I bet her name is Karen, to be yeah, honest. That's, exactly That's probably why she said it say. like that. There have been like little moments on the playground, but I can't fight a child. So. <laughs> yeah, but I was just going to say, what the f where is she going with this? <laughs> you know, well, you know, you got to send them out. You got to send the dads out because, you know, their dad can beat up the other kid's dad. So absolutely. It, it's a rite of passage that fathers fight to the death over, <laughs> <laughs> over the honor. <laughs> Almost beat up another parent. Her son kept hitting my daughter and she's like, oh, they're just playing. And I'm like, ma'am, hello, do you want me to hit? Uh, gosh, that's one thing I do. I do hate it when other parents don't control their kids. Like, that's a pet peeve of parenting of mine. It's like, they're obviously making my kids upset. 
And the other parents are just like, oh, they're playing. I'm like, oh, I'm really? about to show you playing. <laughs> <laughs> You're setting a bad president by fighting as well then, like she said. Oh, you know, a bad example for my kids. Bad example, know, sorry. I don't know. They're like... I guess it's situational, right? Because they have a bad example of standing up for yourself versus just fighting someone in a, an inappropriate time. But I want, mm. you know, I want to. <laughs> I want to fight some parents sometimes. I haven't leveled up in much as a dad yet to to know what those situations you, are. You get to, you know uh, what, I mean? <laughs> what I've found is, as a parent, like a parent of kids that are a little bit older, is you, you find your, your um, not your limits, but like the, the lines that you won't allow to be crossed uh, mm-hmm. pretty quick. Because people in general will push them. Uh, yeah. like, like we we was at we was at a house viewing, right? And there were all these people trying to cram in this house and, and look at it. And we had uh two two or two of our kids with us and they couldn't walk very well. They were trying to go upstairs. And I think I they told you this story too, but they were I like, feel like I, yeah. push, pushing past the kids and knocking them down. <laughs> And yeah, that's not okay. What I, 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 I just stopped. I was like, everybody, chill out. <laughs> you know, I didn't get, like, <laughs> if you're pushing a fucking child, what's wrong yeah, I'm with about you? To kick these old people down these stairs so they don't quit. You yeah, know? no, I get that. What would you say to someone who was trying to mess with your kid? Why the fuck would you try to do that? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Back the fuck up. Oh. Back the fuck off. Language in front of the children? Oh my gosh. Oh. Freak oh. off now. Freak off, fudge off, man. Good to remember about you. That I will do anything that it takes to to take care of him. Oh, well, yeah. What do you want your kids to remember about you, Feel You want to remember that? You, do you want our, should our kids remember it says, Ah, oh, my dad was a YouTuber. Oh, God, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> Was just being a good dad, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was gonna say just being being my dad, but like, half my kids were like, my dad was a YouTuber. He was a reaction YouTuber. Oh, I, I would definitely hit myself with that train at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, actually, when I was a kid, I I asked my mom, like, Mom, would you love me no matter what? And she was like, Yeah, of course. And I was like, Even if I killed someone? And she was like, Yeah, of course. I'm like, That's a little. It's a little messed up, Mom. <laughs> whoa, Mom, whoa. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what kind of crazy person are you, Mom? <laughs> it's like, I would still love you, but I'm not giving you permission to kill anyone. Come on. <laughs> Do better than me. Be better than me. Be better than me? Huh. No, not me. No, not can't this be guy. Can't, can't be can't better be, than me. What are you he talking? can't bench 100 kills in no, my weight. I can, I can count better, spell better, run faster, <laughs> yeah. lift more, eat it's my food faster. Gonna, yeah. No way. Can't beat your old man. I'm going to be in the grave before I get beat by my kids. He's obviously, he's obviously going to learn Japanese better than me, and I just feel like, <laughs> no, I can't let this happen. i got to learn it. <laughs> There's going to be one day where I'm, I'm playing. It's going to be like Mario Kart 12 is out. Yeah, gonna... it'll be a video game for sure. Where all of a sudden he's really good. You're just like, yeah, yeah. yeah, just, yeah, yeah. <gasps> you just look over and they're over there like barely even playing. You're like, my God. <laughs> my God. It's time. <laughs> Gotta send him to the ranch after all. <laughs> send him to the ranch. <laughs> all right, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Stay toasty, my friends. Check out Felix again. Check out his new videos, all the vlogs and cool stuff. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.